Hey fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about DC Universe Blue Beetle from the Blue Beetle movie. So, if we see here, we have Blue Beetle and a couple of accessories that we saw him in the movie with. On the side, we have DC Multiverse Blue Beetle. On the back, we have a nice artwork of Blue Beetle, and we see he comes from the movie Blue Beetle. On the side, we have Blue Beetle that comes from the movie Blue Beetle. That's the Blue Beetle. So, let's get him weighed up. And we'll see that this guy is coming in at 10 ounces even. So, very interesting. So, let's get this guy out of the box and see how cool he is. Okay, now that we have the guy out of the box, let's go ahead and look at his card. Here we can see his card with the artwork from the box. On the back we have his bio. Please pause to read. All right. And if you saw the movie, you'll know that this is the movie version of the Blue Beetle. And he does come with this large sword here that he had in the movie. He also comes with his blaster that he uses in the movie. See here the detail in it. We also see the rings that he had with him. And he does come with two of those. And they are both identical. So if we pull the figure in closer, we can get a closer look at this guy. Let's just raise up a little bit. All right, so we see he does have the face that he did in the movie. It's very nice. And we see we have nice details in the armature. If you look up at the top here, we can see the black paint, which also feels like it's molded in. So it's a nice touch to that. See these shoulders here, the shoulder pads. Duke come apart a little bit so be wary you will have to move them to get the figure up for the t-pose so it's nice touch there so it looks like it's still part of the figure and not separate now he does have a little gap guard here which is always nice and it is the same kind of washed plastic as the rest of the suit but it does allow for movement all the way around and he does have a bicep swivel as well as a double bend in the elbow with a wrist rotation no rotation at oh, oh 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 just a little bit you know why because this is the hand that you would replace for this now let's see the other hand does not have that so they just want you to replace this hand with this and you just simply just insert in and you'll notice it is molded to fit a certain way so all you would do is just insert into the peg into the hole and mine's been a little stiff right out of the box so there we go we can see it nice and it's nice that he can rotate this around now the head does allow up and down movement pretty good left and right without a problem as far as ab crunch goes this guy's got a pretty nice one and he does rot spin at the waist now he does a nice split von dom style he does not have an upper thigh bend but he does have a double bend at the knee as well as a ankle that rotates around plus has the ball joint up and down movement so it's not a true ball joint but it just split like one so i kind of like these ankles a little bit better because it lets it rotate and lets it have a little bit more durability so definitely a nice touch for that now as far as the, the rest of the figure he does come with a normal stand and he does have two peck holes for the bottom of the feet so the other sword item would fit in his hand 
so you get some nice dramatic poses or you could just have him hold these items it is up to you for me i probably will have him holding the sword and shooting the the gun you know even though it's a blaster I, i'm surprised that they still allowed it um dc has a no gun policy um for their toys but at least this one came with his blaster so we straighten him back up getting him all nice and standy we see that this character does come in right at seven inches tall so that means characters like the batman from dc rebirth will fit in nicely next to him he will be a little bit taller than a stormtrooper or a marvel legends figure as always dc uh, multiverse from todd mcfarland toys or mcfarland toys are always a little bit taller now the one thing i did notice is this sword here has this weird handle so you can make him hold it like this to where it's that but it it just doesn't uh, look right i like it a little bit like that now it would have been nice too if it would have been an attachment for the hand but it is what it is so great representation of a figure from the movie um i love the todd mcfarland uh movie figures they're always so nice so until next time guys like subscribe and keep collecting